my darling of the night Though I knew you weren't right Still I'd do whatever you decide Cause your love was dangerous I've been vegan since April 2001 So coming up 10 years as a vegan and I'm still alive Because I had chronic fatigue, I had Crohn's disease, I had asthma I had skin flare ups a lot My you know, my ability to act, train consistently was up and down because chronic fatigue would come in. I'd be like, oh, you know, I just got no energy, things like that. So, you know, I had all these allergies coming up. Every, and I had some good form and bang, I'd just be like out, you know, for a couple of months. So, you know, so when I went vegan, all that disappeared. Chronic fatigue went, Crohn's went, skin issues went, you know, digestive issues went. And I had anemia before I went vegan. So vegan helped by anemia. I don't have anemia anymore. My iron status is always good. I do regular blood tests. 2006, I went to Doug Graham's Health and Fitness Week, which I highly recommend. That's normally in Seattle. You can Google up Doug Graham Health and Fitness Week. I went there and I learned how actually how much fat is enough fat and how much fat is too much fat or too little fat. So 2006, late 2006, was when I really started to have conscious effort of you know raw foods and eating low fat. Before that, it was sort of like you know as long as it's raw, it's sort of healthy, you know. <laughs> which was uh, okay for a very, very short period, but soon my athletic performance wasn't as good as it could have been. And looking back, I, I can see why. I was eating too much fat. So that's why I decided to become is health, because I'm, I'm, I'm a health nut, that's why I'm vegan, and athletic performance, you know what I mean? And that way you'll be a better example of veganism, which is dominating in life, in sport, etc. drug-free, having fun. Do you literally eat 30 bananas a day? Sometimes more, you know, I just, I had about 17 large bananas, here we go, I've got a banana in my pocket, never leave home without a banana in your pocket, you know what I mean, so I've had about 17 of these, of these bad boys already this morning, get that bit, top bit to the ants, so literally, do I eat that many bananas, definitely, you know, I don't just eat bananas, I eat melons, figs, grapes, dates, durians, jackfruits, chumpadax, relinias, mame, you know, canastel, inga bean, ice cream bean, mabolo, Nectarines, peaches, blah, 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 cherries, you know, all these things. But I like bananas because they're easy to get. They taste good. You know when they're ripe, easy to get organic, digest as a treat, high calorie, high nutrition, high farm. Just peel it, eat, bang, you're off the, you know, you're ready to rock. So my record is 72 large bananas. Dates and bananas are rice and pasta for the raw fooder, regardless if you're athlete, athletic or not. Seaweeds I've had a few times in the last year, and I went for a two-year period with no salt or seaweed, and then uh, in the last year I've just had, you know, bits and pieces, someone might make up a little bit of food for me, you know, a bit of raw food with a bit of salt or seaweed in it. If it's not too much in there, I'll eat it. Cool with that. Uh, a few times a year. Seeds and nuts, again, seeds and nuts would be more than seaweed or, or you know, salt. So instead of having it just a few times a year, I'll probably have seeds and nuts you know, a few times a month maybe, but definitely very, very low amounts. It's still going to be, to be objective, under 10% of my total calories will be coming from fat. So over the year, probably 1% to 2% of my total calories coming from nuts and seeds, maybe even less. I just find there, you know, if I want to eat nuts and seeds in amounts, then I'm not eat, eating enough fruits. Uh, you know, nuts and seeds are good, but fruits and vegetables are just better. In a world of good, great, better and best, let's, why not go best, you know, when you can get it. Yes, I take a vitamin B12 supplement. It's the only supplement I do take. I do injectable form, 1,000 milligrams of hydroxycobalamin. People are like, oh, yeah, that's that's an omission because your vegan diet doesn't work. And so, well, actually, you know, that's not true at all because 39% of the U.S. population is actually B12 deficient or borderline, according to a recent Tufts University study. So anyone that says, oh, you've got to take a B12 supplement because you're vegan, wouldn't have a clue because if that was the case, then only vegans would have B12 deficiencies but we see the exact opposite of that. We see the reality is that people can have B12 issues regardless of diet. For me, my body lacks intrinsic factor to produce the absorption for B12. So all my cyclist buddies, they all do B12 injections, you know what I mean? And none of them are vegan. I've got a housemate, great guy, Clint. He's got a B12 deficiency. He eats more raw, organic, grass-fed, wild, local animals than anybody I've ever met. And his B12 serum is still borderline deficient. You know, under various 
You know what I mean? So it's people just don't understand that one. Take a supplement if it's a concern for you. And don't think that eating animal products is going to help it because if it did, then only vegans would have B12 issues. But we see the opposite is true. Everybody can have a B12 issue. Superfoods, I don't take superfoods, but I do eat goji berries on occasion because I think they're super. No, I think they're tasty. And uh, but you won't, won't see me paying the crazy amounts for them because I think they're just a, as good as any other fruit. A nice little sweet thing. Typical days, wake up. Do a little bit of exercise, maybe a bit of cleaning around the place, or clean my bike, or go for a bike ride for an hour, or half an hour, or two hours, depending on what training I'm in, into that week. Um, Food-wise, I like to eat early as possible. I like to le- drink a liter of water upon rising, or a quart of water upon rising. Then I go and do my exercise, and I'll always take a banana or a date with me and eat that after I drink my water. Just so my body's not going, oh my God, we haven't eaten for 12 hours, now we're exercising, like what's going on here? So always eating a lot of food, generally it's three meals a day, you know what I mean? One, two, three, <laughs> I can still count, man, today was a wicked training session this morning. Three meals a day, typically breakfast, lunch and dinner. And I'll have you know, anywhere between 1,000 to 3,000 calories per meal, depending on how much I'm feeling like. But I always make sure I eat a lot of calories and... I like to have big meals so I can just be done and then get on with the next thing, you know what I mean? Rather than having a little snack and go, oh, you know, I'm, I'm still hungry, you know what I mean? But I just have a generally, when I'm having a meal, I have a big meal. And uh, if I'm going out riding, when I can't have a big meal, I bring my snacks with me and then come home and have a big meal. Another reason is uh, why people, a lot of people fail is they don't want to count calories. They don't want to eat enough. They just think, oh, if I just eat like a green smoothie with two bananas and a bit of spinach and half a mango and that will sustain me forever because it's raw food and it's got prana and nutrition and it's raw so it's like more enzymes isn't it because eating 500 or 1500 calories a day they're going to hit walls big time you're going to hit a wall if you under eat so learn your calories so you eat enough 3000 calories a day plus is what i'm recommending for an adult unless you're sitting in a chair meditating for 18 hours a day have no kids no business no life no exercise no muscle whatever no goals, then eat less by all means. If you want to live more, eat more. If you want to thrive on a raw food lifestyle or a health food lifestyle, eat as much carbohydrate calories as you care for. You know, 10 grams of carbs per kilo per day. If you're eating rice, cool, eat 10 grams of carbs per kilo per day. If you're eating bananas, better. You know, sweet fruit's best. You know, if fruit's your friend, carbs are king, get it in 10 grams a day per kilo of body weight per day crunch it in if you want to thrive if you want to go up and get flailing emaciated binge prone depressed insane stimulant dependent eventually obese then under eat your calories if you want to live hard eat hard fruit your friend chow it down health is like how you feel i've got drug-free energy this is not cacao this is not organic coffee this is not green tea vibrance this is like lots of sleep lots of carbs lots of water lots of sun fun living your purpose energy i'm giving you right now so it's if my definition of health is feeling good, you know, I mean, is it's better than what you were, you know, because if you compare yourself with other people, it's easy to feel good or feel bad. Cause your love was dangerous. Yeah, your love was dangerous. And I was entertaining risks.